Good morning, Tri-State. It started as a way to add convenience to people downtown, but some say Cincinnati Skywalk had just the opposite effect. And now the Skywalk isn't what it once was, but it still provides a unique way to look at the city in its direction. WCPO.com transportation and development reporter Pat LaFour joining me now. And you spent a time on some of these skywalks. And when we say it wasn't what it once was, that's because several of them have been taken down. That's right. Uh, some of the key connections that uh, connect the skywalk all the way through downtown have been removed um, over the last decade or so. Uh, it really started in around 2002, 2003, when uh, city planners decided that there were just not enough people on the street level because they were often going up into the second floor of a lot of these downtown buildings. And so it kind of created this sense that downtown was empty. But not necessarily the case. People were just split and divided, right? That's right. So um, I spoke with a downtown Cincinnati Incorporated CEO, David Ginsburg, and he told me that uh, the city of Cincinnati definitely has enough foot traffic to make downtown feel vibrant and active. Um, but when it's split up into two levels, that, that can give the sense that it's not. Um, so uh, about a decade ago, uh, the city decided to kind of refocus its efforts. This lined up a lot with the Fountain Square redesign of 2005. Um, we can see now that Fountain Square has programming all year long. They've got ice skating. They have uh, a stage to have uh, summer music uh, concerts there. Mm -hmm. So there, there's just a lot going on in Fountain Square that wasn't there before. So much part of the city story is its history. These skywalks are part of the history, but you know, as a kid that kind of grew up here, I never thought of the skywalks as part of the history. Right, and uh, you mentioned as a kid, I remember them as a kid too. I would go down uh, to downtown during Christmas time and go right. see Santa Claus and McAlpins and we would wander around Tower Place. Um, they really were attempting to create kind of a, a downtown mall shopping center feel surrounding uh, Carew Tower and Tower Place um, in order to compete with the suburban flight that was going on at the same time. People moving out to the outer lying cities, neighborhoods in order to take advantage of things like shopping malls where you didn't have to go outside in order to do all of your shopping. So they were really trying to kind of simulate that feeling right downtown, um, but then you know they had, it had this uh, other effect of kind of thinning out the crowds and making downtown feel empty. A process that you said started in 1971 and ended when? Uh, they finished the, uh, the, they considered it complete in 1997. It was only about five years later huh. that they decided to start taking parts of it down. Interesting story, it's up and going right now on our website at wcpo.com. Pat, thanks. Thank you.